if it comes in and rains a big rain event, just look at it from the point of view of a frog that's buried down in the ground in the marshes here. It rains, the frog sort of goes, hang on, it's raining. I'll get up and do what frogs do, right? Because I know over the last million years, it's in my DNA that in a week or two weeks or three weeks, there's going to be flood water turning up here. So the frog gets up, does what he does. Well, what humans have done is they've put on property dams up around Bathurst and up through there, which catch a bit of water. Then they've put Burrandong Dam there, which at the end of a, a drought is going to be close to empty or have a huge capacity there. And then humans have also put uh, reservoirs in the floodplain. So when a flood comes, the first thing that's going to happen is the on-property dams are going to be filled. Then Burrandong Dam is going to be filled. And then when the water does eventually go over the top of Burrandong Dam, it's going to get into the river and start coming down the river system. Then the irrigators are going to end up filling all their storages. So this frog that said, hang on, for a million years, in three weeks time, I'm gonna have flood water above me, gets up there and lo and behold, three weeks later, there's no flood water. Maybe six weeks later, maybe the whole flood has been held up. So from the picture of that one frog, we can get the idea of what the whole environment's doing. And that's the problem that we've got. We're not thinking about the logical timeliness of it. We're putting human intervention right at the front and it doesn't work that way. It's not sustainable.